Oh, well, now what if I am? Suppose there is no 780 page masterpiece in existence. Supposing there is in existence no masterpiece whatsoever. What if that, Mrs. Wire? But only a few, a very few, vain scribblings in my old trunk bottom. Suppose I wanted to be a great artist, but lack the force and the power. Suppose my books fell short of the final chapter. Even my version's language uncompleted. So is the currents of my exalted fancy rose on magnificent dramas. But the house lights darkened before the current fell. So as all these unfortunate things are true, and suppose that I, stumbling from bar to bar, from drink to drink, till I sprawl at last on the lice infested mattress of this brothel, suppose that I, to make this nightmare bearable for as long as I must continue to be the helpless protagonist of it, suppose that I ornament, illuminate it, glorify it, with dreams and fictions and fancies, such as the existence of a 780 page masterpiece and pending Broadway productions, marvelous volumes of verse in the hands of publishers only waiting for signatures to release them. Suppose that I live in this world of pitiful fiction. What satisfaction can it give you, good woman, to tear it to pieces, to crush it, call a lie? I tell you this, now listen. There are no lies, but the lies that are stuffed in the mouth by the hard knuckled hand of need, the cold iron fist in the sesame business wire. So am I a liar? Yes. But your world is built on a lie. Your world is a hideous fabrication of lies. Lies, lies. <sighs> now I'm tired and I've said my say. I have no money to give you, so get away. Leave this woman in peace. Leave her alone. Go on. Get out. Get away.